Thank you for listening to Read BBS. Ciao. Read BBS. BBS. Bam versus Sunny prediction video. Getting right to it. Two undefeated defending champions in their primes. In their primes. Both with pound for pound level skill and talent. Uh, they both have boxing brethren. Bam Rodriguez's brother is Joshua Franco. Former WBA champion at 115 pounds. Sonny Edwards' brother is Charlie Edwards. Former WBC champion at 112 pounds. So it's in the blood. Clearly it's in the blood. They'll be throwing hands in front of a rabid, bloodthirsty Mexican crowd. And an unapologetically pro-Rodriguez crowd, I might add. And with that... Sonny Edwards is the perfect foil with the perfect mindset to fight on enemy territory. You couldn't you couldn't draw one up. You couldn't build one from scratch better than Sonny Edwards to come into that type of environment. And I'm even talking stylistically. He's a finesse fighter. He's a finesse fighter at the core. But he wants to ridicule you. He wants to belittle you. Sonny Edwards wants to embarrass you. Sonny Edwards wants to LOL at you in the center of that ring. In the center of the ring, goddammit. Miss Badly and Sonny Edwards, he'll look off into the crowd or he'll ole you like a bull in a matador. Ole! Cutting to the chase, he's a slick black fighter on the inside. He just looks the way he looks. He just looks like that. He's Pauli Malignaggi, basically. That's who Sonny Edwards is, Pauli Malignaggi. Bringing a record of 20 and 0. And with that, he's made the connection of beating Bam becoming 21 and 0. And the fact that that's Bam's uh, San Antonio, Texas area code, 210. Clever like that, just giving Bam a little something extra to think about. Bam, though, Jesse, Bam Rodriguez, 18 and 0, 11 KOs, 23 year old Southpaw. Bam's very active energetic he has a uh he has an aggressive style depending on your style if you're if you're a slick cutie and you don't want much drama then bam can be very aggressive if you want to be aggressive like sore run b side then uh bam can allow you to play yourself and counter you to death he pivots uh for advantageous angles he'll fire pivot fire again kind of like loma is known for at southpaw shit uh, Jesse fights out of a high guard, uh, out of a crouch. He's athletically aggressive. He'll faint at you, but in an you know athletic faints, athletic uh, aggressively athletic. So you hear aggression, you think plotting, come forward. No, 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 no. Jesse Bam Rodriguez is athletically aggressive. He's a committed body puncher. But to describe him in one word, I would use activity, activity, activity. And he can pressure you or fight off the back foot again like he did against Sora Rung V-Side, who he pieced up in a manner not unlike Bill Crawford's fight against Earl Spence. It, it was a systematic breakdown as such. Jesse, uh, bam, he's got so much flavor to his game that uh, even Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson, who can't seem to agree on shit, they're both fans of Bam Rodriguez. Now, in his last fight uh, against Gonzalez, because Bam was comfortable with the fact that Gonzalez couldn't hurt him, he was walking through the front door a bit too much. Front door, like Teddy Atlas says. Uh, he didn't respect the power. He actually ended up getting his jaw broken, strangely enough, in that fight. But at no point was it obvious. Like, oh, my God, he just took this big shot. And he's uncomfortable. His uh, bottom lip was bleeding. Or actually, that was blood from the broken jaw coming out later in the fight, like 10th, 11th, 12th round. But there were no visible signs of the discomfort that he fought through with and won unanimously with. But with all that said, it's a lot to like about both of these fighters. 
there's more to like about Bam Rodriguez. More dimensions to his game. There's uh, more tools in his toolbox. There's more ways for Bam to win. Conversely, Sonny Edwards lacks even a puncher's chance of winning. He doesn't even have that. Sonny can't keep guys off of him. Bam has the feet work and the punch rate to keep Sonny uncomfortable. Uh, Sonny's been dropped twice, both by looping shots, looping right hands. Now, those were from uh, orthodox fighters. But the point is, he can be touched. And he will be touched either to the tune of a unanimous decision or a late stoppage win for Bam Rodriguez, who will supplant himself and announce to the world that he's just right there on the outskirts of the pound for pound. Put some respect on Bam Rodriguez's name. Read BBS, BBS, Blackbird Sugar, Bachelor's in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say on this.